Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie an acrylic granny apple caddis. The hook I have in the vise is a standard dry fly hook. This is a size 14. I'm going to use all of UTC 70 denier thread. The acrylic body we're going to make, you can see here, these are acrylic hair bands. You can get these at the dollar store. These actually came from the dollar store. And you can see here, it is a nice granny apple cat, uh, color. They come in a lot of different widths and sizes. And they stretch. They're, but they're not rubber. So they're not going to rot like rubber is. We're going to take our thread and we're going to attach that behind the eye. You can see this UTC thread. You can see it, it's flat. It flattens out very easily. We're going to come back just about an eye length or two. We're going to get rid of that excess. Now I'm going to take the acrylic material and I just snipped the rubber band or the acrylic band. We're going to tie that in. I'm just going to catch the band. Get that on there. Now I'm going to pull that tight as I wrap it. I'm going to bring it back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. Then I'm going to bring my thread back up. Now I'm going to take the band and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to start out by stretching it pretty far in the beginning. And then we're going to put release the pressure and let it get fatter as it goes towards the front and it will give you a more natural of a body there of course you want to overlap it slightly and this was a small a small band that I had here and this is already the second fly I'm making with this when I get to the top the end of the body. I'm going to pull that tight one more time and I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to give it one more wrap. More higher wrap. There we go. I'm going to pull that tight and I'm going to tie it in with the pressure on it so that it will have a tag that the tag will be very small because we're stretching it. Take my hackle plier off of there. Give it a few wraps. I'm going to pull that tight Put a couple of turns in front even. Now I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to clean that head up there just a little bit. Now I showed you that the UTC flattens out pretty easy. My thread back. Now instead of making a dubbing loop which will double the amount of thread. I'm just going to spin this counterclockwise and let that flatten out. So we flatten that out. I'm going to take my dubbing needle and I'm going to split that. I don't know, a little bit better than that. There we go. We got a nice, pretty nice division there. Now I have CDC in my clip and this will give it more of a struggling or a hatched look or legs. Put that in there. Now we just need to go ahead and spin our thread clockwise once again. Just to tighten that thread back up. I'm going to turn that upside down there to spin it. And you have a nice CDC hackle right there. Flip that back over. I'm going to wind this. And you see there's a lot of lot long ones there. We don't worry. We're not going to worry about that. Because we can break them off to length when we're done. I'm going to wrap that right in there. Now 
And there's the long ones. I'm just going to take them and break them off. I'm going to kind of just push them to the bottom also. Because we have a tendency of pulling the CDC or any material to the top. Break those off. You can even use your scissor on them, but if you break them, it'll be more natural. Now I'm going to take my deer hair. And I, this is a very soft deer hair. Have it in my hair stacker. I'm going to remove it from the hair stacker facing in the direction I want to tie it on. Take it out of the hair stacker and if you have any loose ones or long ones go ahead and pull them out. Going to size that up and I want that hair just slightly longer than the body. We're going to tie this down. Pinch it between your finger. Give it a few tight wraps. We're going to pick up all of the material. And I'm going to wrap real tight against the hair so that you can lock the material in between the hair. Or lock the, the uh, hair in between the thread, I should have said. Now we're going to pull all the material to the top, all of the tag in, and we're going to go ahead and trim that off. Now it's a little hard to put a uh, whip finish on there, so I'm just going to use my half hitch and give it double half, half hitches, once, twice. Roll that up, put that right over the eye, and then slide it off. Give it a two of them. And we'll cut that off. And I'm going to put a little bit of of head cement on the bottom of the fly. It's on the bottom of the head. It actually turns it a little bit darker like a natural would be. And here we have an acrylic body granny apple caddis. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.